This is the final video in a three-part series on making a calculator in Flash um, CS4 using ActionScript 3. In this video, you'll notice that I've added some more um, buttons. One of them is the clear button. If we click on this button, we'll see that I've called this CTR for control and clear. I've also made an operation a squared button, so op square. I've made an op cubed. And this final button, I've called it op x to y. I just want to show you how I get the superscript. So I'm going to open this button. And I'm going to delete out the slash that was from before. I'm going to put in an x. I need to move that over a little bit to give myself some space. Put there. And then I want to put another one. And here it's going to be a Y. However, that's way too big. So I'm going to shrink it down and drag it in. Now I need those same two symbols on my other layers, so I'm going to copy them. I'm here and delete this guy. Now the problem is that these aren't in the same location as this one. So I'm going to look at the location that I get for these, which is x negative 59, y negative uh, 26 and these are the XY position not don't confuse that with what the text says so I'm gonna click on this one highlight the same two change this to negative 59 change that one to negative I believe it was 26 so now those two are in the exact same spot and then I'll just do that with the last one All right, now if I go back here, I have my x to the y key. The rest of this tutorial is going to focus on the code. So I'm going to open up the code. Once I have the code open, you'll notice that in this section, I've added um, event listeners for the new buttons. That should be something that's fairly straightforward. I haven't changed anything here. In OpClick, I have changed some things. So the first thing that I've changed is I've added this Boolean for double op. The reason I have to do this, or the reason I need to do something like this, is that, for example, x squared only requires a single number in order for it to work. So when I press 2x squared, I expect an answer to appear immediately. I don't have to then press another number and the equal sign. I need to keep track of whether the button is being pressed as a double operator, meaning 1 plus 2 equals 3, or whether it's a single operator, 2 squared is 4. So the rest of this is the same until we get to the op for um, until we get to the op for square. The op for square is actually going to calculate the value. So the first thing it does is gets the number. It makes a variable for total. So now I'm going to calculate the total. And the total in this case would be input 1 times input 1, which is squared. I can also use the math.power um, function. So math.pow bracket input one which is the number and then the second after the comma is the exponent so two then I set the screen to be that value so I'm setting the screen to be whatever total is then I'm clearing my flags 
double op is false, equal pressed is true. The reason I want equal pressed is true is because I have an answer in the screen. And then if I have a double op, so a plus sign, a minus sign, then op pressed becomes true, deck pressed becomes false, and screen becomes blank. The reason I have to do this in the if statement is because I don't want to blank the screen for single operators, like square. The user needs to be able to see the actual answer that they've come up with. Next, I'm going to equals clicked. And there's not a lot new here, if I remember right. Um, this is basically the same as what we had before. The final one I'm looking at is control click. And control click, in this case, right now we only have one control key, which is clear. If the clear key is pressed, then we set our flags all to false and we blank the screen. Once you have finished this code, what I would like you to do is you need to add code for the additional buttons. So x cubed, x to the power of y. I would also encourage you to make one more row of buttons and you can choose whatever mathematical functions or control functions you want. For example, this clear clears everything. This is a clear all. You could create another button that clears only the most recent number that's been pressed. In addition to that, for a real challenge and to get 100% on this assignment, I'd also like you to do something so that when that you could do something like 3 plus 3 plus 3, etc., which this code will not do yet. So it would keep a running tally or a running sum. That's all for the calculator. Thanks for watching.